A very good evening and happy Women's Day. My name is Sarah Nsigai and I will be your hostess. As it is the trend, this International Women's Day has been celebrated virtually. The Uganda National Culture Centre is joining the rest of the world to mark World International Women's Day. And we'll kick off celebrations with the Uganda National Anthem. After the Uganda National Anthem, we have to play the Uganda Women's Anthem, written and composed by the late Professor Rosimboa. Rest in peace. Did you know the Uganda Women's Anthem? Many years down the road, still very relevant, still challenging us to wake up, you and me, wake up and embrace your roles. If you don't know the lyrics, please watch the screen because we are running them now. Stand up and embrace your roles today. Wow. Beautiful piece. Have you embraced your role as a woman? I have. And if you haven't, you should actually heed to Professor Rosenbauer's call and embrace your role now. Going forward, we are now unveiling what we have prepared for you this Women's Day with the theme, Wonder Woman. The wonder creature, the creature woman, a wonder. As it is, the Uganda National Culture Center, which is the home of arts and the creative industry, we will join the rest of the world by promoting and celebrating the only way we know, which is through performances. Some of you may wonder, why do we celebrate International Women's Day? 
Does that mean that women have been given only one day in a year to celebrate or be recognized? No. Women are not given only one year. It just has a history on the struggles for gender equity. The day can be traced back to as far as 1908, when about 15,000 American women went to protest the poor working conditions, the long working hours, and demanded that they be given the same opportunities and privileges as the other gender, the men. About two years later, in 1910, the International Women's Day was marked. Apart from American women, there were other struggles across Europe where women were also protesting and demanding for equal rights in UK, in German and other places. So in 1917, when over 100 women who are working had met to talk about the same workers' rights, Clara, a German woman and activist, suggested that International Women's Day should be celebrated all over. It shouldn't be just in one country. There was no date given at that time, but four countries agreed to celebrate and the following year they indeed went ahead to celebrate. There was German, Australia, Switzerland and UK. Even then, there was no actual date. However, in 1917, some women in Russia came up to demand for their rights and they were demanding for peace and bread. This was after the First World War where the conditions generally were poor, but the women were experiencing more hazardous conditions working, but also at home, and in as far as being hit hard with the realities of having to be mothers in an economy that was very poor, that was down. So women came out to demand for peace, and they came out to demand for bread. They started this strike, in, they started this strike on the 23rd of February. That is according to the Julian calendar. But the Julian calendar, the 23rd of February, is the 8th of March in the Gregorian calendar. What happened is after four days of those strikes, the Zag gave in and actually women were given equal rights. So that's where you trace the day when we start to mark the 8th of March. It is 8th of March, but as the saying goes, or as findings have now established, we continue to celebrate and mark Women's Day. Why? Because according to studies, a hundred years from now, gender equity may not be realized yet. And in fact, our children may also not realize gender equity because there are some advancements made, but there are also some steps back. However, there are also many achievements to celebrate. I would also like to hint that in 1975, that is when Globally, we started marking International Women's Day because the UN adapted it. When the UN adapted it, Uganda being a member state, adapted it in 1984. That's when we first marked International Women's Day. That does not mean there is no Men's Day. There is Men's Day. It's marked on the 19th of November. That is when they celebrate the virtues of men, the good things, but also talk about the challenges that they're experiencing. The only difference is the Men's Day has not yet been adapted by UN. Why? Because it is agreed, as I've just said, that some of the issues in as far as gender equity is concerned are still, women are still hard pressed more than the other gender. It doesn't mean that the men are enemies, but we reinforce, look back where we've come from and try to look where we want to go. It is in that light that UNCC uses the language we use most, which is art, tapping into the potential of the visual and creative media to actually celebrate our women, the artists, but also celebrate women, the achievements, policy, and where we want to go. And today, one of the ways we'll be celebrating, we'll have a dance. In partnership with Kega Dance Company, the Uganda National Culture Center is presenting a dance to you, the women, but also the men, performed by women, choreographed by a man, with the title, This Is My Home. The woman's home or the home or the space where the woman is as a home did you know that dance can communicate this dance elaborates and illustrates the challenges that a woman experiences in the domestic arena how they raise to the occasion if you don't believe that dance can communicate 
watch this dance and you let me know. I'd also be curious to find out what you worked out as the message in that beautiful piece. Enjoy. <laughs>
Kamauni wa Pirema, jamani, kwa kweli si uongo. Kama ujui nenda kajone mwenyewe jamani, weze tu wala umia jamani we. Paka leo wanazali wa Pirema watoto, paka watu wazima watakuwa na Pirema.
Where's the books? Dead cats. Dead dogs. This is my home. <laughs> so you think I am homeless? You think I have no home?
Wow, fantastic piece. Beautiful performance. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think today, UNCC decided it is going to be men celebrating women or celebrating with us. Kenneth. Yes. Wonderful to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us and celebrating Women's Day with us. Yeah, um, really, from running from FIDA now, I'm at UNCC. Yeah, yes. fantastic, great. Um, female Lawyers Association, yes, female. celebrating Women's Day. Mm. Very happy to be associated with them. Very happy that they're celebrating Women's Day and very happy that they realize and acknowledge the relevance of onboarding men <laughs> in the struggle yeah. for gender equity because mm. for the good policies, some of the people held President Museveni for pushing women's policies. For other people, it's legislators. For some people, it's headmasters, mm. reverends, our brothers, our fathers. Are you a feminist man? To a greater extent, yes. And to what extent aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> we shall discuss that later. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, very yeah. wonderful. And tell me, this mm. Women's Day, yes. with FIDA acknowledging that we actually need talents. Yes like Ken, mm. to actually send the message of celebrating womanhood, of promoting gender equity, yes. and onboarding you. Mm. Did you actually do it because you have been engaged, or are you a person who actually supports women, generally? Um, I've been supporting women uh, in my work. Uh, on my team, there's always a lady somewhere. Um, I grew up with a single mother, oh. so uh, literally I've been around ladies at home. I'm surrounded by ladies. I have a little niece. Oh, fantastic. Yes. So uh, literally surrounded by ladies. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. And uh, the, the body of works I've been working on still empowers ladies. Mm. Uh, the words you ladies would love to hear. Uh, if you ladies go through the problems, the challenges. Uh, some of them I utter them out in music, in my own perspective, the way I see them and uh, the way I, um, what's the word, interact with them. So I've been supporting ladies. Oh, that's I've fantastic. Been for the ladies. I love ladies. Oh, oh you do? <laughs> okay, that's great. Yes. I'm, I'm very excited to hear because increasingly we see previously it would be kind of like down or yes. society would look down on you mm. if you're actually seen to be supporting women because to some people you're a betrayer of the cause mm. to some people you're trying to spoil women in your message are you pushing gender equity are you encouraging men and women or women to go there mm. and actually claim for what they deserve play their role and go out there and actually participate in the development of their country and all those things or are you empathetic and feeling pity for them what's uh, what's pity. your music generally what is it pity no not really pity uh one uh if you divert and go let me say in the holy book that's the bible they say they call a lady a helper so, who is a helper, according to you? According to me, a helper is uh, someone who is equally as strong, or even stronger, like dangerous substitute. <laughs> <laughs> the dangerous substitute. Mm. So a helper can, can literally do many things, even more. Mm. You, uh, for for, for feeders, to, today, today feeders, um, a theme is strength of a woman. Mm. So according to me, women are stronger than men mm. because, come on, binge vitam, nzikizi wako gulu Uganda. Yeah, of course. Binge mm. vitam, and uh, they can endure a lot mm. of which us guys. Mm. <laughs> no, that's a no go zone. Mm. That's a no go zone. Yeah. So uh, personally, I see women more of um, what's the word? Bibandi 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 bade ngabasubula oku oku 
Okutereza NC, let me say mm. Uganda. Mm. Why? Mm. One of them is their multitaskers. HHN to Zako, I even have uh, dialogue with my friend Sima. Tuga man, Kuburi, Amucha, Nakwaton, Mwana, Nakwaton, Sefuri, Atinagama, Gunyaku, Kuburi, like all those things, and they end up being perfect. End of the day. Thank you. And a guy, Gamba, a man can kind of focus on Yakuchino, Chino Chenso, Jinjagala. After watch Malanga, Gamba, okay, what next? Yet, ladies, they can do things. Five mm. things at the same time mm. without even running mad for us would run mad oh thank you very much mm. but women out there mm. how are we coming out to actually tap and build on our strength and get a better future for our children for our men for our country for our families and that's what ken is alluding to that we multitask we are strong and not that that strength mm. should be abused, mm. should be complimented. <laughs> yes. So the how parole I think was complimentary, not to serve but to compliment. And I think that's I gather that's what you're saying. There's even more I would say. To sum it up all, I would say we all need to learn each other. Thank you very much. We all need to learn each other. We all need to complement each other. Gender equity. We are not saying women should be above. We are not saying, we are just saying gender equity because side by side we complement each other and we are able to explore each other's potential. Kenneth, what do you have for us? Uh, a lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for this um, Women's Day, mm. can you cite some of the songs you have? Uh, one of the songs I have is uh, the Cinderella and Chocolate Skin, Uplifting a Lady. There's um, Aununa. Now, this a lady is reporting what is happening. You know, during COVID 19, a lot happened. And uh, uh, one of the cases that I happened to see uh, was a near uh, where I live, Makinde. So across the road, there was a guy who actually beat up his lady. And Omanyungo Echalonga Chisirif by sub by eight Echalonga Chisirif, only all you hear is, oh no, why, 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 have a LOD they came like it omanya a challenge to national like teacher virtual national because by what uh cashier curfew but LOD had to come the police also had to come so the song is about a lady galopa alopa authorities uh alopa uh she's depressed she's sad she she has uh, alopa authorities and uh Muni muna kundi ba muga ba kundi yo ga yo 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 ga yo yo such a change but the mulungi and she was like but guenja gala oh dear but guenja gala names I don't I advise against names the guenja gala so muni mo all those mixed feelings wow yes sounds like a song I can't wait to hear Awununa by Kenneth Mugabe ladies and gentlemen thank you for coming. Fida, thank you for the platform. Uh, National Theatre, thank you for providing the stage. Uh, my name is Kenneth Mugabe. I'm with a friend of mine, JJ Bugoma, Mr. Sengova Julius Joseph. Mm. <laughs> so um, it's Women's Day and Lunakula uh, Bachala. Um, what do I have to say about this? Well, I've prepared a few songs to say about it, but Everything has a beginning and an end, and a high and a low. So make sure, this is just my, an advice to you, make sure everything ends at a high. Uh, this song is called Aununa, of my next album that is dropping this year. And it talks about the low in a relationship. And this time it's a lady reporting. Enjoy the song. Changaluna is Sanyongali Kurukuta Kumatama Gontese Kuvavoto 
Gemazina Gayadia no ya suvi. Ya ambaza ya chido de chanti samusuti. No one it over on ya. Now ambaza move on go away, ya simba. I'm a camaroon jila ya siga. Echifana ni echimuena. Emozi janyo miagadi ya temuena. Ya gambi mwa mumasa ni bawa kabenje te ya ulira te ya ulira kaja wunona ngabo yechusa awunona yechusa awunona ngabo yechusa. So that Women's Day finds you. Well, fine. Today was Women's Day because every day should be Women's Day. And uh, this song is to all those who feel like, ah, Women's Day is not, I don't feel good about Women's Day. And this song is called Cinderella in Chocolate Skin. Off my next album. Thank you. your fears and raised your voice Cinderella and chocolate skin The time is up, the time is up Get out of your shell Oppression is now your song Everything you do is wrong Self-esteem is low Chocolate 
She's nice. She's beautiful. She is better than the rest. Those who understand Luo, I think it's Acholi. Sicho? Acholi. Uh, Ileng, Iber, Ilojo Mkeni. Enjoy the song.
made me famous. Well, I think. See you. See you, Joe. Anyway, this is a song for the ladies. The ladies love this song, and uh, I feel so much joy to sing it to them. So, ladies, enjoy this song. Sekiriziwa okusemberera Sekiriza kusemberere Sekiriziwa okutunulira Oli chifana chivata nasiga katonda ya munda gwene yewu ah sekiriziwa okukwata kwa mukwano Aneta, ton funavu vi, zemono, mkwe gomba, kulava mwavalongo, abali na maso, ngagago. Mkwe gomba, mkwe gomba. Bakunto dira, ze bakunto dira.
na sindi kwa mwaka na kuntwa lako Orenzo nyinyinji na kumbwa lako Nani? Nani? Ne mama wo. Ne mama. Ne mama wo. Na kwesu matanga tujaria mapele. Ne nja mama wo. Katize kwete kekete na mwenye na kakato. Na wena jina jina. Thank you very much. My name is Kenneth Mugabe, Jojo Vugoma. Thank you, Fida. Thank you, uh, UNCC National Theatre for this. Na kwezu matanga tujari ya mapere nendi ya mama Katize kwete kikete na punye na kakato Jeje, bada sinamala yo kogena. I would like to thank Fida for the platform. I would like to thank National Theatre for the lights, for the stage, for the microphone for everything you see here, National Theatre. And I would like to thank Ronald Sima behind the camera. Sing him some more. Ah, 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 Okay. Uh, I would like to thank the entire team of Kenneth Mugavi. I would like to thank... Who else? And who are going to do the Julia Sengova. And... Uh, I would like to thank Omuchala Wasengova, Mrs. Sengova for uh, lending me Mukulu Sengova. <laughs> uh, we are doing this for the ladies. No kwezu matanga tujaja mapea nenja mama Katize kwete kikete na punje na kakato Thank you very much. Happy Women's Day to all the ladies. Happy Women's Day. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh my God, that is beautiful. And I believe I'm speaking for you who has been watching when I say that was out of this life. Kenneth, thank you very much. You are so talented. It is actually not just complimenting. It is a fact. I loved every song. I can't actually start commenting on either role. But I think there was a message to women about Omutualo. I think people who don't know Omutualo, it is what people pay to the parents initially, which thanks to activism and lobbying, now court recognizes as gifts. But to some who don't know, they are still held or enslaved because of the chief but it is a chief and the courts of uganda pronounce themselves on omutualo you cannot hold or enslave a woman because they paid he also raises an issue of when you want about a man and about his behaviors do you go ahead that is a very tough question for most women and even for men because love can be complex we can only pick lessons. Maybe we need to study, to do more background check. But half the time, maybe that doesn't happen. Half the time, people are warned for other reasons. Very, very tricky things. But 
actually realities of our lives which music and art does it is a reflection of our society i'm very very happy and thankful to the uganda national culture center for giving us this street many thanks to fida for actually supporting this performance thanks to the entire production team not forgetting the women out there watching not forgetting the legendary women who have pushed for where we are now not forgetting the people who went to celebrate women's day mkulikeyo welcome back from state house this virtual the covid time has called that today we could not hold our usual national celebration at kololo as is usually the culture i also want to Welcome back the people at Parliament who had a side event uh, also celebrating and marking Women's Day. Sylvia Wari and the women artists, welcome back from the luncheon. Thank you for serving women. Thank you for celebrating art. Please watch the space. I'd like to take advantage of this time without paying for the advert to actually inform you that Celebrating Womanhood Festival will also be held virtually from the 26th to the 29th. We have film screenings, discussions, and online conferences. Please join us then and have a lovely evening. Again, Happy Women's Day.